I love it. The boxes of this product are in real time collapsing as we see. You hit the refresh button and then the, the number goes down and down and down and down and down. There are a lot of boxes produced and we didn't even, one of the big conspiracy theories was that the ring would be in the bundle, which has not been released yet, which a lot of people pre-ordered at ridiculous prices. And now I'm sure they're canceling their pre-orders as fast as they can. The hype of the ring, if you ask what is the ring worth, we don't know the... We know in the morning before the announcement, it was $485 for a box. Now, we know right now you can get a box for $355. So it's a $130 difference right now. Now, the market has not settled. In fact, the stock market hasn't even closed yet. So we don't exactly know where the box will end up. But I can tell you... I don't think anyone believes it's going to be a over $300 box anymore. Once things settle down, breakers stop breaking. Um, I'm sure that there is a desperate, desperate pump and dump from scalpers today. And once they realize, oh, there's nothing to pull. And you might think, oh, aren't there other rings and stuff? Yes, there are. But this is the main chase. And if you argue with me the main chase, my biggest example is look at the drop in box prices snap instantaneously and these breakers who are used to pump they bought these boxes for sub 300 and they were able to sell them to on whatnot for 600 700 plus and they sat on a lot of inventory because they thought the ring would again never be put in a pack like i don't know how dave and adams got it when they got it, that's a very big question. When did they get it? Did they get it after before the bounty? Did they get it after their own bounty? Did they get it after the two point one million dollar bounty? Who knows? Because like in my mind, it cannot possibly be pulled by a normal person because Dave and Adams only offered one million dollars, while another card shop in Europe offered two point one million plus the free travel. You you get you get the idea. So why would somebody give it to Dave and Adams for less than a million unless they negotiated for over 2.1 million. At the very minimal, there was an open offer for that. Open offer was not taken, which makes me believe that Dave and Adams is a card shop. Every card shop, they open products when they, they get the product in, and they may have packed this at release. And at the very least, it takes time for PSA to authenticate. It's a one-on-one. Wizard of Coast came out to announce that it is real. So in case you are listening to whatnot, do not trust them. They only want your money. Um, they will steal your Moonbrion, which is terrible, or a terrible thing. I know because it's really hard to pull a Moonbrion <laughs> of all of the people I would know. And at the end of the day, this ring is legit and it has killed the product. So in sports, we would call this a product killer. Which means that the product, that the main hit that everyone's chasing has been pulled. There's really no reason to continue to open the product, in my personal opinion. Unless you actually like Lord of Rings and gets cheaper now. And there's no reason to buy into the decline. Because I don't think anyone believes the prices are going to stay what they are right now. I think it's going to be sub 300 a box very soon. The hype is dying and there's no more hype to get. There's no more XQCs. And no, I mean, nobody can announce that they're pulling the ring, even if they faked it, right, with the proxies, which is what they were doing on YouTube for a while. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And at the end of the day, you know, um, now many of you ask, what about your friend? Doesn't he still have a lot? Yeah, he still has a lot of product, but he bought it sub 300. Even at 355, he's still happy with that price. He bought it understanding that it was sold to you by your distributor for a 270, 275, 265. It kind of depends. There, there were different volumes. That I, and this is a different case where the more you bought, the higher it cost, the next batch cost because of the chase. But if you're buying it for 270, how can you be upset when it's free 30, free 55 right now? But if you bought for 500, yeah, you would be pretty upset that all your extra boxes are free 35. 
or God forbid, 700 and whatnot. Anyway, bye guys.